In this question, we're given a slightly more complicated recursive function. Um, it's actually defined not in terms of just one previous term, but the two previous terms. Okay, so you'll notice that the formula here, similar to the Fibonacci sequence, is defined in terms of the previous two terms and then subtracting four. So if I wanted to find T3, well, according to this formula, I'm replacing N with three. So I'm gonna have T of three minus one plus T of three minus two minus four. Let me just evaluate these numbers. So I have T of two plus T of one minus four. Now T2 from definition is two. T1 from definition is one minus four and I end up with negative one. So there's our value for T3. For T4, I do the same thing. I plug in four for N and I have T of four minus one plus T of four minus two minus four. So I subtract my little bases there. I have T of three, T of two minus four, and this leaves me with, well, t of three from the previous um, calculation I know is negative one. So I have a negative one plus t of two, I know from the definition is two, and then minus four. So what do I get? Minus five plus two, minus three. So let me list these terms. I have to begin with one, then I have two, then I have negative one, and then I have negative three. So in terms of <clears throat> an arithmetic difference, well, here I add one, and then here I uh, subtract three. So those don't match up, because I should have a common difference in going from one term to the next, and that certainly doesn't happen. To check if it's a uh, geometric, I would divide. So I'll go two divided by one. So the second divided by the first term, that gives me two. Now if I do negative one divided by two, negative one divided by two, I get, well, negative 0 0.5 or just negative a half, and those don't match up. So in this case, it is neither geometric or arithmetic.